Hey, what's up guys? My name is Urosh. Uh, welcome back. I hope uh, you liked what I did and uh, yeah, uh, this was like a request from a Patreon. He asked if I can take a look at this track and I did basically and I delve into it and it took me two hours, maybe a bit more um, to get this thing together and uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Of course, obviously, I don't know like if the song is actually made like this or basically I'm guessing, right? When I'm making this kind of stuff, I'm guessing or kind of speculating what's going on. So yeah, but uh, wait, I just need to put this to... Uh, I think this is right, okay. So let's, uh, we have a kick. Right, let me just solo the kick. Uh, I took a lot of um, like this shit here because I didn't like it. Also, we have a drum bus. Then I made like a bass line with a tom drums, so it sounds like this. Then we have the bass line, which uh, plays like uh, the root note of the chords and also kind of like these um, small bits here. And also it kind of stops uh, playing here at the beginning. So it kind of helps creating a groove, I guess. What I did here for the baseline, I just used like an Ableton, uh, like an Ableton plugin guitar bass. Uh, I cut a bit of the lows, so uh, I think in the original there's not a lot of sub bass, but I might be wrong because my speakers aren't really big. Uh, but I think that's why I cut it here, and also I added like this amp, just to make it like more kind of guitar-y, I guess that's not a word but uh you know what i mean and uh also i added compressor just to sidechain it so everything together and if we add uh, the vibes i call them vibes but yeah it's electric piano Yeah, let's take a look at these uh, chords. We have uh, F sharp major here, right? Then we have E flat minor. Then we have uh, B flat minor, but it's inverted, so. Right, this would be the root position. And then we have uh, C sharp major, I think. Yes. Right, also inverted. Uh, and then we have a pet sound, which is just playing in the background. Right. Uh, then we have some plugs, which kind of, I guess, in the original, they're like really in the background, but they're like almost like constant. Right, they sound like this. They sound like shit, but you know. Yeah, before there was like these. Um, automation here so we couldn't really hear the bass or the kick so kick sounds like this right and the bass line and uh, bass right um okay so for the grooves i didn't really go into detail because it would take like really long time so i just use like standard shit i use some shakers uh, some top drop, top loops, some claps, 
hats and then we have like this sort of percussion first we have a bongo which plays only at the end so uh, and then in the original there are like these cuts of samples i guess uh for like like fills and shit um something like that it's it would be impossible to recreate that because i would need like the real samples right you could try it with midi but good luck with that um so yeah but it's it's still a pretty cool technique i guess you just find uh, loops that you like and you set, uh, you cut them and you use the parts that you really like for uh, bits here and there right for just adding uh, a groove and also like interest for to the to the to the drums so yeah we have conga here then we have some here some shit here right and uh, here I think we have another one right so something like that and with together with the uh, drums so that's it then we have ambience I don't know really what this is it's just like a drone I guess yeah then I added some reverse uh, vocals just for transitions. I think I used this already in mass digital uh, style music. So I just used it. I didn't really want to make a new one. We also have a shaker here. Um, then we have some labs. I added some auto pen to make it left and right and the delay and then for the last part we have the lead arpeggio basically let's hear it let's see uh, the midi clips as well so yeah like what's the most important in this sound I would say is the delay uh, let me just turn off the delay and just play it without the delay I made this sound in Diva um, but yeah. right without delay it just stops so I added a, a delay here and I put it like if you can see the feedback is like really high at 50% uh, dry wet about 33 and uh, here when you select the rate I use the eighth the eight uh, rate eighth rate <laughs> that's funny that's fucking funny man um, eighth rate <laughs> anyways uh, I use the eight and it's uh, it has like that effect because of that delay right because if you would use a different one it would sound different right that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this if you have any other ideas let me know in the comments i already have some uh stuff planned but uh yeah we'll see how it goes uh subscribe like and talk to you soon